such a quality bag. I love this. You're beautiful. Shine like a star. You got me Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Shanta. If you are my subby, welcome back. Thank you for watching all my videos. If you are new here, you are most welcome to watch my videos then. You can also subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. I think it's down there. I'm not sure, but it's red and it says subscribe. You can click on that so you don't miss out on my videos. Finally, today I'm going to do my handbag videos. I've been putting off this video for a very long time because it takes a while sending the bags from Lake Tetu here. Plus, we have a small area, so di kasha yung bags ko lang lalagyan. So I had to think about where I should put my bags. Of course, now that we have our bookshelf, finally, now I can put my bags. The first videos that got me into YouTube, well, not uploading videos, but like watching bag videos, definitely handbag videos. This will be a whole week of bag videos. This video specifically is about my vintage coach handbag collection. All in all, I have 12 vintage coach bags. Two are still in Leyte. The other one is a briefcase, so my brother is using that. For those who don't know about coach bags, this is from a different era of coach handbags. This is not the coach handbags that you usually see. You know, those canvas bags with the CC logos written all over them. This is not it. I think their new ambassador is Selena. What else? Yeah, I think that's it. So a little history on the company, they were founded back in 1941. This is an American brand. It has a very rich history. If you want to read about it, you can Google it. But these handbags were inspired by baseball gloves with a nice tan leather and very durable stitching. So I guess that's all you need to know. I've been talking for a long time. I know you want to see my bag. So let's start. Let's start with this one. Most of these handbags date back to 1970s, so they are very, very old. They are older than I am. I am 34. <laughs> I'm turning 35 this year. I know, I know, I'm very old and I should have a baby, but hold your horses. Antay nyo lang. This bag is called the Casino Bag. This is a tiny bag. I love this bag. It has the turn lock. This one has a handle here. You can put this one here. I just hold it like this. This one also has this strap. I'm not very good at this, but I will try my best to show you the bag. This one has a slip pocket on the back. It still has the tag. It says coach. It has a long strap and it's detachable. So the um, leather on these bags are brass. Sometimes you can see like green stuff on the sides, but you just clean it. The inside, it has no lining. That's why I love these bags. I don't like linings on bags. I don't like textile linings, cloth, whatever. I just, I just love it when it's like simple and clean. Clean meaning yeah, like the design. I like it when the design is clean. It's just like no snagging with a cloth or anything. If I'm looking above your head, <laughs> it's because I'm looking at the viewfinder so I can see if I'm in frame. Inside this bag is a slip pocket here. It's like suede. It feels like suede but it's the leather. It's very soft and supple like it's like butter it's really nice and it's very durable it's very simple and i like it i love simple things simple things i mean i love simple designs on things see it's very durable and it's very pretty i wish you could touch it so the feel of leather is really nice and it's really compact and i love carrying this around i just put my wallet my phone yeah that's it for the first bag the casino bag next bag is let's do this one this one is so tiny and it's like a book this is called the scooter bag this bag is the same glow tan leather yes i love black and gold so this one is thicker than 
the casino bag. It's bigger. This one also have the turn lock and it has the strap. This one doesn't have the detachable strap so it's attached to the bag. It's stitched to the bag. When you flip this open, you can see a slip pocket here and you can actually see the... What do we call that? It looks like this. I don't know if it's showing. Yeah, there. Creed! That's what you call it. It's the Creed. It has the Creed in here. And inside, it has the same suede-like leather lining. It's not lined, so it's not lining. The suede-like leather. And it's just... No slip pocket on the back like this casino bag. The creed on this bag is written on the slip pocket inside. There, you can see it. Anyway, it's right here. <laughs> so again, this is the scooter bag. It's a cute bag. When I wear this, because it has a very long strap, I just twist this. Twist, tie a knot. There, and then I wear it like this. Next bag, next small bag will be small. Mm, this one. Oh, it's so pretty. This bag is called the Bixi bag. You can wear it cross body like this, or you can also wear this. A backpack like this. It also has the brass hardware. Oh, the leather on these bags are really nice. So it opens like this, and it's just one hollow. It's really pretty when you can see like the leather like that inside. It's clean. You don't have to look for your stuff because they're like stuck in the lining or whatever the creed on this one is on this tag i mean is on this leather right here that's coach and of course i still have the tag that's coach i love this bag too it's so nice so this one is not as big but it's bigger than this bag There you have it. This is the pixie bag. Next, I will go to... I think this one is the second oldest. Maybe this is like 40 years old. 1970. This bag is almost 50 years old. It's 49 years old. Oh my gosh. Actually, these bags are older but yeah, it's almost on the same day. This bag is called the Logan bag. The strap is not detachable, but it has an adjustable strap so you can lengthen or shorten the strap. It has the turn lock right here and it has a slip pocket at the back. And inside, you have the same leather, the suede like leather, and it's just one big vacuum. And this one has the zipper on the side. This is where the creed is. I hope you can see that. There you go. And the zipper. And it's also leather inside. Again, this is the Logan bag. The next bag that I'm going to show you is also a black bag. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black bags. So this is called the doctor's bag. It's like the speedy bag. It is a speedy bag, but yeah, it's called the doctor's bag. It has feet. It's on the side other side there's a zip right here and it opens like this and it's just hollow inside no it has one pocket here and a zip bucket right over here where the creed is mm -hmm. 
So all the zip pockets on this bag, they all look the same. So they have the metal zipper and the zipper pull and the creed like this. This bag has a strap as well and it's detachable. So you can wear it like this or you can put the strap and wear it crossbody or on the side. So the metal is like this, it's brass. It has tarnishings but the good thing about brass is you can just clean it and it's like new. There you go. So this is how it looks like with the strap. Yeah, it's very pretty. Next bag will be this bag. This bag is called the court bag. This is how it looks like on the side. This one is so much bigger than the casino bag. See the difference with so back to the port bag. This is the handle. It can like flat like this. Put this sticking out. I've seen Taylor Swift with this kind of bag. I think we have the same taste in bags. You know, the boring kind of bags. I'm going to put a picture right over here so you can see how it looks like when worn. On the back, you have the slip pocket. It opens like this. And you have another slip pocket here. This one has this sling and it's also detachable. Inside looks like this. This one has a leather here, the same leather as this, but inside you can see the suede like leather around here. Zipper pocket right over there with a creed around there as well so this is the coat bag i think let's go to the red bag here this is called the janice bag i love this bag because it looks like the evelyn bag i think it's the evelyn bag from hermes hermes is so expensive i can't afford it when you hold these bags you know that they are quality bags that's why i love them and they're indestructible. These bags are like 50 years old, but they're still very beautiful. Let me just close this here. The strap is detachable. It's like a belt. I'm on the second, what do you call this? I don't know what you call this. You can move it right up to here so it's shorter and it can be like a shoulder bag. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, you get what I mean. It has a leather pull right here and the zipper is a metal zipper. I don't like it when it's plastic. You know, bags with plastic zippers, I don't like them. I like it when it's metal. In front, you have the slip pocket. It's very clean and nice. How many times did I say nice in this video? <laughs> you can comment down below. Let's open this bag. Inside, it looks like this. It has a zip pocket right there. And at the same time, it has a slip pocket on the zip pocket. <laughs> there. Opens like this. So inside, it's just that. A zip pocket here. And a slip pocket there for your phone. Yeah, that's it. What's that? There's a white thing in here. That's it. That's my Janice bag. So I'm gonna insert a video of my other two bags that I left at home in Leyte. So um, this bag is called the... I forgot. Let's see. I think it's called the Legacy Zip. I'm not really sure but it's a bucket bag. Yeah, it's black. And it's leather inside it has the zip pocket on the inside it's like my janice bag the other bag this is called the briefcase i don't know the exact name but it's the briefcase without the strap long strap so you carry it like this 
and it's very beautiful. I really love it. I wish I could wear it, but it's big. I'm five feet. It would look like I stole somebody else's bag. I went to a company like in Ortigas <laughs> and stole somebody else's bag. So I gave it to my brother and he's using it at school. He's a teacher. Next bags. Actually bags because I have three of this. This one, this one, and this one. Oh my gosh. I love these bags. These three are my favorite. And I think this one is the most used just because it's small. But this are my favorites. So let's start with maybe the black one. So this is called the duffel sack. This one is also 50 years old, maybe older. They actually brought this back in 2012, if I'm not mistaken, that's the year, 2012. Actually, this one is from 2012, but let's talk about that later. But this and this red one are basically like 50 plus years old. Okay, it looks like this. The strap is the same with my Janice bag, you know, the red bag. Let's get this. So they have the same strap design, of course. I'm wearing it on the second. It has the leather tag. I love this kind of zippers. It's the industrial zip. Look, it's big and like chunky. And slides like butter, oh my gosh. Inside is just one big vacuum. It's also called the bucket bag. And I love this kind of bags. You can see because it's dark. But it's just leather with um, suede-like material. But it's, of course, leather. There. It's just a clean design like all the rest basically the red one and the brown one is the same inside but i'm going to show you this is the slip pocket inside it doesn't have a zipper but it has the creed here the serial numbers on these bags are down here below the creed usually the last four numbers if it's from the same era will tell you the style of the bag so this one says 9085. So I'm going to search on Google and just type coach 90, did they say 85? 85. Yeah, and there you go. You have all of these designs. Yeah, look, it looks like my bag. Maybe they made different sizes. That's why they call this the XL. But I have the same sizes for the three bags. Let's go to the red one. This one's really beautiful as well. <laughs> um, this bag, I just put the strap like this. So it's like easy to carry. I can go on vacation with this bag slang. Like, I can go on a one week vacation using this bag alone. That's how much it carries. Looks like this. You have the hang tag here, it says coach, and it has the same brass um, hardware and the industrial zip. You can see that. Oh, I forgot to show you the bottom of this. This one has no feet, but my Janice bag has feet. So inside, inside of this bag, of course, it's just one big hollow there. And then, like the black one, it has the slip pocket and it has the creed written on there. And this one, you can see it says, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is the creed and the number. The slip pocket, it's just leather inside. And yeah, it's exactly the same as the black one. It's so pretty. I love this bag. 
bucket bags are going on trend again and I'm glad I have this because it's so pretty and it's so such a quality bag I love this oh my gosh it's so nice you can wear this open like this so it's easy for you to get your stuff like that or you can also of course zip it close so it's secure yeah just like that now let's go to this bag i think this is the last one this bag has the same hardware it's the same size as my other two bags but this is from 2012 this is in the same style but this one is a recent bag they still have the same industrial zip like the big one the chunky one and the same hardware but this bag is lighter and it's very flimsy it's still high quality but it's really flimsy i think i love the quality of this bag i love the feel of this older bags it's thicker and heavier still looks the same inside though and you also have the pocket here but this one it has a different see the newer bags they have i'm sorry this one has an oil stain right there this bag actually has a very big oil stain i'm going to show you this one see oh i will have to bring this to the spa when we were traveling to Cebu, I forgot to secure the cap on one of my oils, you know, for my skincare. And there, it's on the bag. Anyway, yeah, let's go to the pocket. I'm going to show you the difference between the pocket of the older versions and the newer ones. This one has five numbers at the end this one is four design is still the same it's just that this one is flimsy but they're both good very good quality this one look at this this is 50 plus years old and this one is like what five years old and it still looks so nice there we're done comment down below if you own a vintage coach bag and tell me how much you love them i'm sure you do if you're looking for this kind of bags you can go to etsy they have lots of bags in good condition you can also go to ebay but sometimes some shops on ebay are very dodgy but if you're very careful you can shop on ebay as well of course there are lots of legit sellers on ebay as well so that ends my video for today thank you so so much for watching i will see you again in my next video bye you're beautiful